Here's an interesting I, one. Real Places say says, I disagree with not looking at pendings. And correct me if I'm wrong, but that typically makes me feel like this person's not actively fixing and flipping. Yeah, so it's a great... I'm, I'm really actually happy he brought that up because I go back after I've done my look more at what's closed and at what's actually, you know, for certain closed and sold. I'll go back and look at what is pending and what's active. But here's the reason I do it. I don't do it to establish whether the value is there for this deal or not. I do it to establish what is currently happening in the market. If I look at this and I'm like, oh, wow, this seems great based off everything that's closed, these six properties here that have closed, and I come up with a value, and then I go and look at what's actually active, and I see, oh my gosh, there's 10 other properties that we're going to be competing with when we go to list our property, that's going to also alter my decision a little bit, whether we decide to buy a property. Because if there's a bunch of other comps and they're taking a lot longer to sell, they're sitting on the market, that's going to start to make me think maybe this area or this pocket's now taking longer to sell. I need to adjust at how long we'd be expecting to be in this project for based on what's active right now. And then the pendings and the under contracts, I look at those to establish again, how long did it take those ones that are pending and under contract to go under contract? And then also seeing what is that activity level looking like? So I, I use that more as a different thing that I'm looking at. I'm looking at closed to see the hard facts of what truly is closed and what the market has actually for certain done. Pending and under contracts could cancel any day. Appraisals could be you know, screwed up on them. They won't sell for as much. They could sell for over. It's a great gauge of what's currently happening in the market as far as they seem to be actually selling faster. It seems like people are listing higher. So maybe we could sell this for a little bit more than what some of these closed. But I don't use that as the first thing that I'm looking at. I want to see what has truly actually sold. So hopefully that helps make you know a better understanding on that. We will go look at those, but that's not the first thing I care about.